the costumes, both of them. Typhon is going to rock the house, baby. You are a very small woman. Typhon likes small women. accessible, I like it. And, uh, ah! <laughs> yeah, hit it, Pax. Tomorrow, the world. I don't like this game. I tap you, type in for 12. Oh, no. You little bald cheetah. I got this, go. Shock, you're dead. What does that mean? It means you're dead. Don't no, you lost. No, you're not cheating. You lose. Oh, this is crap. I this game. not like this game anymore. Moscow, you guys can all kiss my ass. Typing, come back. <laughs> Morning star, I have a little surprise for you. Ooh, good, tastes like chicken. It's good, you should try it. I'm back. <laughs> you thought you got rid of me. I am back with Frank the Tank. Yeah. <laughs> it tastes so good when it hits your lips. How are you, brother? What's up, man? Nothing. And I even lost I even lost the bad Russian accent from the good old <laughs> Typhon is a tough nut to crack. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Lee Rearman back here. Back here on, uh, on the Firefall set, just hanging out with my good buddy, Frank. Yeah, man. That's, I'm, I'm really excited that uh, you, you were able to come here and uh, come hang out with us. I love it. I love it. Once, a fi once Typhon, always Typhon. That's true. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like, That's you know, true. it's kind of like from my old gladiator days. Once, once, once Hawk's in your blood, you can never quite escape from it. <laughs> yeah, so. you're always Hawk. So I, I've, I've got, I've got, I'm, they're, they're stuck with me for Typhon for life. As Typhon for life. We're, we're okay with that. Yeah, we're okay yeah, with we're that. We're okay with that. Fantastic. <laughs> it's a mutual understanding. Yes. Yes. And uh, I don't know if you've met Mika, but this is Mika, Hi, Mika. one of our uh, Hello. community coordinators. A lot, a lot cuter than Matt. <laughs> yes, a little absolutely. Bit, just by a little bit. <laughs> just by a little bit. Just the beard difference. <laughs> uh, 666 Shooter said, yeah, you used to host Arena on G4 also. I did. <laughs> Golly, that was a funny story about Arena. This was, you know, this was going back to like the early, early 2000s. I started yeah. in like 2002, and I remember... And everybody that knows me knows that I'm, I'm, I, I like video games and I play a little bit, but I'm by no means an expert. And mm -hmm. this is back when Arena was coming out and, 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 you know, this was way before games kind of became mainstream. Mm -hmm. And I used to get called out all the time, Hawk doesn't know dick about games. <laughs> and I would get picked on, but then somebody would say, yeah, but he's Hawk. So leave him alone. <laughs> and then so I got to play the gladiator card for about a decade. And then, and then, and then when, they, when they made me type and people would say, yeah, but Typhon doesn't know dick about video games. Yeah, but he's Typhon. <laughs> so now I got so now I got the get out of jail free card as Typhon. So That's I got right. Hawk he's, and Typhon. He's going. Typhon. Because I'll, I'll tell you this, you know, The Rock has, a, has an action figure. I have two action figures from two separate centuries. Wow. Huh? Mm. All right. Because Hawk from the Gladiators was mm. in uh, in the 20th century. Yeah. And then uh, Typhon, I have an action figure, which was from the 21st century, right? Now, mm. there's, yeah, now there's, there's the yeah. miniature uh, Thumper Typhon, which we actually oh, still have some of those. Yeah. Oh, yeah, when, when, I was, when I was doing the trade shows yeah. and traveling around, they sent me a whole box of them. And then, they, and then there's also a statue. There's two of them, actually, <laughs> of, like, the, the big one that I think you guys saw in the video. Yep, we sure did, yep. And actually, there's the... Um, 
traditional like five year gift for uh, Red Five is actually a, a, like it's that, kind of like that's Typhoon, right. It's like, and you know what? It's I'm, like that big. I st and I started doing Typhon in 2010. Is there a record keeper around here? I, would I think a hey Marjorie. I think I might be up for my five year anniversary <laughs> statue. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I want I want my statue in my house. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. But yeah, it's been a while. I mean, I remember working the trade shows with you and we, we traveled everywhere together. We were everywhere. South by Southwest, I think was that was the first one. Yeah. In Austin. That was in Austin, then we went to Boston and then we went to uh, which was PAX, I yep. believe. PAX East. PAX East, that was PAX East. PAX West. Went yep. to Germany. We went to, we went to Gamescom. That was that was fun with the guys from Yogg's cast, like the guys that were like kind of like following you around and like like interviewing you. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think I think they, they they loved you in Germany. Like it was it was just fantastic. Like the crowds that you. That oh you drew. well, the, because the, you know any just um, American culture anyway they like so anything when you kind of kind of show up and you're doing so and then you know being in the Typhon suit which made me about eight feet tall you know that's true mm -hmm. and the thing about you know um, American kids especially as, as younger they're we're kind of taught to be it's probably because we have more room in this country kids would kind of stand back like if it, it's South by Southwest and PAX the kids would kind of you know they they'd stand 10 feet away and they'd hold their parents hand over in Europe They'd come right up and kick you, <laughs> <laughs> and then and then blurt out something in uh, probably bad language in, in German, <laughs> call me names. They 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 pull on stuff. They'd start ripping parts off the Typhon suit. Like kid, get off of me! What are you doing? Yeah. So it was just a just a fun fun experience. Uh, where where the, although the Typhon suit was pretty hot, it was uh, it was it was a lot of fun. You, f you forget how hot it was and just realize how much fun you had. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, it, at Austin, it had to be really hot. Because we didn't have the, there was there was no air conditioning unit in there. Right. Just a, a, a fun story going back to the beginning is when we when when uh, they first put me in the suit, it was you know in a in a cold warehouse on a cool day, and then the first time I actually wear it at a, at a trade show is in Austin, Texas, in the middle of the summer. <laughs> I mean, right. there's hot. There's like surface of the sun hot, and there's my fat ass in the pipe and suit hot. It's Nick's little and I and and then of course you know nights. The, the nights on the road, we're out kind of having a few drinks, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, yeah. And so, I mean, I'd, I'd get up, and I thought I was going to die. And the booze is just, you're just sweating on kids, and they're probably, they're get, they're probably getting smashed. Just <laughs> And you're just, you're, you're leaning over, burping on kids as you're signing autographs and thinking, oh, God, this, this kid's dad's going to kill me. <laughs> Yeah, but at South by Southwest, you can drink there. So, like, that kid's dad was just sitting there with a beer yeah. in his hand oh, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Fun stuff. Crazy. Crazy. I remember uh, there was one, one One of the dads was standing behind his son. He's like, get him, son. <laughs> yeah, he's, like, sitting there with a beer. Just, like, oh, yeah. they're, like, sitting there playing the game. I'm like, that's ah, cool, man. That's what you yeah, want. Well, then they took, they took us out. They took uh, Morningstar and I out in the suits. Oh, that's right. Out on the street. And we went, we went to downtown Austin. And they had this like this open air kind of fair with all these bars and stuff, and we're uh, and I, I forget the name, but there's a name to that neighborhood with all the the, the, the bars and the, and the pubs and everything. Mm -hmm. And so we're going from bar to pub to bar to pub out there. We were playing flip cup. Yeah, and, and you I saw, saw it on the video. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh my goodness, that was <laughs> beer crazy. pong. Beer pong. Yeah, that's what it was. It was beer, beer pong, and then uh, that was at the Microsoft party, I think. Because I think yes, you guys was, broke into yeah. it. Like, Nishi was, like, trying to con the doorman, and someone came in and was just like, go, go, go. And they had a, Noah. He came in, he's like... And they had a, uh, they had a, 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 at the security line, they had a, a metal thing, a metal detector. <laughs> and, and the Typhon suit wouldn't fit through. I had to kind of go sideways. And my ass kept getting caught around the thing, and they had to, like, push me through. Oh, oh man. Oh, my. Sixth Street? It could have been Sixth Street. That's what it was. Yes, it was Sixth Street in Austin, and yeah. it was we just had a ball down there. And uh, yeah. <laughs> and then they, there was a, there was a guy to get me to get us around because that thing was you know you could move a few feet, you could move left to right and, and forward, backward five or six feet, but you know trying to walk two or three blocks in that thing was just impossible. So they had this little this little pedicab guy, the little guy on the bicycle. <laughs> With oh, like a wagon, yes. and they, 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 and by this time I'd been playing beer pong, so I'm like I'm like teetering in this in the Typhon suit. So they 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 stood they stood me up and they just kind of pushed me and I just fell into the into the cab and my feet were up in the air and the, and the cab driver was just pedaling the bicycle around around Sixth Street.
Like, How are you? I am typing. <laughs> see you at PAX. Goodbye, I don't see Austin. you at PAX. Goodbye, Austin. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I heard yeah. they have to. They had to actually take it apart. Yeah, right? yeah. I think though, to, to, to get you in there, they had to like take the bar out of the seat and then sit you down in the seat and then re like reattach. Oh the yeah, bar. yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> They're like we have the technology. <laughs> I mean, what you know, what what you saw either on, on camera when we were doing things or when, you, when we were at the show was great, but. The, the, the in and out was just awful. Mm -hmm. I mean, because that thing is just a lot of work to get in. And, and mm -hmm. you know, Steve Wang and his team did a great job designing the suit. Mm -hmm. But it's a one-off. So it's not like these things are pre-manufactured. And you know, it's, not, it's, yeah. not like, it's not like you're getting into the, into the new Tesla <laughs> <laughs> that, has been, that has been tried and they've refined it and got all the bugs king. I mean, you know, these, it's, it's eight dudes in a workshop building this like Geppetto. You know? <laughs> <laughs> So they did, a, they did a, they did they did a great job, but it's it's you know it's 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 for it's to be camera ready. So behind the scenes is plastic and scotch tape and, and a lot of glue, and you know plopping in that thing was just, oh my goodness. I was impressed how well it held together though, considering all the, all the movements yeah. you were doing, dancing and everything. Well, like, I remember when I first got in, you know, you, you learn things about, you know, like any athletic endeavor, and I consider that an athletic endeavor. You know, you you, you learn things about how to how to move. And, and how to put it on and how to rest and how to kind of pace yourself. And I remember the first, uh, you know, every, 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 you put your feet into those big boots and on my right side, maybe it was because it was just slightly smaller than the left side, mm. it would rub right here. Oh, no. And That's you know, when you're, when you're doing it the first time, it's not like I can just get up and say, I got to take off the right boot. For <laughs> yeah, you can't like sit down and be like, go. No. <laughs> so I've got this for, for three days, I've got this thing on, rubbing on my leg, and I still have a scar. Wow. On my leg from where that thing would rub against. Now, after the first show, I learned I, I cut the foot off of a sock. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think, uh. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> no, I think, I think, I don't know, I got a cup. No, that wasn't it. <laughs> that, was a, that was a different drunken weekend from the 80s. <laughs> from the 80s. Yeah, I mean, um, yeah, I got to wear it. I mean, not that, not nearly as active as you were in it. Uh, they did make me dance, but I wore, I wore the yellow one uh, in the uh, on the Halloween for your size right. of person, and uh, so I couldn't put the thigh pieces on because... So it was basically like... Uh, if, I don't know if you guys can see the, uh, yeah, the thing behind me there. It's like there's no leg piece. It was like the, the hip piece meets the knee. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it was right. just like you have to put like the uh, the vest on and then you put yeah. the piece on. I think that's what like 30 pounds, just like resting right yeah, on your shoulders. It's, but it's, it's not too bad. It's it's it, I, we were talking off camera and when you when you when you first see it, it's very intimidating. Yeah. Like you look at it, and you think, my God, this thing is going to be so heavy to put on and get into. Then when you put it on and get into it. It's not nearly as cumbersome or as heavy as you. There you go. <laughs> That's fine. Right. Looking like looking like Bumblebee from Transformers. <laughs> uh, but then once you start moving around in it, you know, after about 15, 20 minutes, it, it kind of sneaks up on you that man, mm. this is a workout. And then yeah. you do it for three straight days. It packs, mm -hmm. or it, it South by Southwest. Yeah, but Gamescom five days. Right. <laughs> you know, I remember uh, that's that Sunday. You guys were just like you're out for like. Ten minutes, like I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, well, it was, Matt wasn't there. Morgan was. Nobody was there because they were well, all sick. And, and what's funny is that again, you you, you kind of learn how to how to how to pace yourself and how to deal with the suit. Mm -hmm. But then also you got to learn stuff like when you when I would sit down on breaks, it wasn't worth taking the whole thing off. No. So I I could sit on a deck chair, and I and I, I got this down to a science. If you lean me up against a wall, I could sit on a deck chair, and then I could kind of place the the the. the the arm pieces would kind mm -hmm. of sit firm on the hip yeah. with, with the deck chair, and I could, if I hit, hit, put my head back, I could just close my eyes and, and totally fall asleep. Yeah. Because I, 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 was to, I was totally sequestered in that thing. <laughs> and there's pictures of me sleeping like this. Yeah, I remember going to the changing room. It's, it's like a robot that's in, like, shutdown mode. You're just like, yeah, just, you just kind of like, right. it's like you're, it looks like you're still standing, but you're, like, you're slashed right. a little so bit, and they, you're like, mm. They'd leave me back, I'd sit, it'd be kind of like, <laughs> then an hour later, they'd come. Hey, Typhon. Uh, how, are yeah. how are you? <laughs> Where are the kids? Oh, my goodness. Good times. Yeah, it was great times. Um, so what's going on with Firefall, man? I'm excited. This is kind of cool. I'm glad you guys, they invited me to come back. And I guess you guys got a, there's a new, uh, we got a new launch coming up, a new relaunch. We got, um, so we launched the game. Right. And uh, right now, we're, we're we've, 
It's been uh, it's been an exciting launch, really. I mean, there's a lot of things that we've done right, and there's a lot of things that we really would like to improve. So we got our uh, new design director, uh, Chris Whiteside, had just posted on the forums this week, just introduced himself, um, and he's uh, basically working to you know, make the game better. One of the first things he said when he came here was, um, you know, the game's already pretty much AAA quality, but I'm here, I'm here, and I'm gonna make it even better. So what we're trying to do is take all the things that we, we know we can make better and make mm -hmm. that better. And, uh, and we're, we're working towards more of a global, like we're, we're getting it ready for uh, not only our North American and European audiences, but like just a global audience. Like, right, so sure. <clears throat> that's really like what the, the work that we're doing right now. So it's, it's coming along pretty well. Uh, I mean, it's development, so there's, there's crazy times, there's happy times, so, uh, but we're really excited for the stuff that, uh, that's coming out, that's coming down the pike. And uh, we haven't, we haven't uh, had a date for the next big update, but um, it's, it's coming along pretty well, and we're really excited about it here. Great. The fact you called me in, maybe might uh, ty <laughs> Typhon might be coming to a trade show near you. <laughs> oh, that'd be awesome. I, I really like those. Were some of my favorite days. Like, <laughs> yeah, and a lot. You know, now Frank is like a season, one of the seasoned vets here. At, yes. At, at at Firefall and Red Five, I remember when I remember when you, we first started. Yeah. Yeah. Can't yeah. Wait. It was. It was. Uh, it was the, the first time I met you. It was like literally, I think a month after I started. And uh, Matt and I drove out to Steve Wang's shop, and yep. that's when you first came. I think one of the first times you came on to try on the yep. suit. I remember that. God, it was like 2011, 2010. No, 2011. It was. It, was 2000. I, it might have been the very end of 2010. No, it was. I, I didn't start until 2011. Okay, then, so it was it was like, then it was the very end of 2011. Yes. Because because then we did the, we started doing the tours in 2012. Yes. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. So, <laughs> like that's 2015. Everyone's. Everyone's talking about jet ball, so yeah, that's one of the big things we're working on is arena PvP, and uh, we had this game mode back in the day called jet ball, where it's kind of like, uh, oh, how to put it? It's 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 kind of like a more of like a sport where it's like there's a ball and your team has to get the ball through the goal, kind of thing. But it, everyone has guns too, right? So imagine like kind of trying to play football with guns <laughs> without without play stoppage with guns. <laughs> so yeah, I guess you could kind of say it like that, you know. Well, there's that, there's that scene from Last Boy Scout where the guy's running for a <laughs> yeah. touchdown. And yeah, yeah, it, gets, it gets to the end zone and it starts shooting people with it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh, that was a great movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that was, that was a great movie. Um, but, yeah, another, one, of the, one of the treats, uh, one of the perks of working at Red 5, one of the treats they brought us was, uh, or they, they, they took, like, the whole company invited us to go, see, to, go to the movies. And um, we went to go see Star Trek. Into Darkness. Oh, yes. Mm. And uh, we took up about half the theater. <laughs> Breaker knows where I'm going with this. <laughs> the company took up about half the theater, and um, and the rest was, like, all filled with, I guess, everyone else that wanted to see the movie, sure. Um, but <laughs> we sit down, and uh, we're watching the movie, and here comes this guy on the screen. <laughs> What's in your hand? And the like half the theater just starts cheering. We're all screaming like, "Yeah!" Right for those for those that, that don't, you, you might have to scan the, the mental database. But I was the guy. I was the main bad guy on the alien ship on the yeah, yeah, on yeah. the on the on the bad ship, who comes up to Scotty, yeah, and yeah. puts the gun to his head, and then <laughs> yeah, and, 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 and interrogates him, and they, they actually and then at the end he hits the button. He apologizes to me, which <laughs> is very polite. Very but then nice I get sucked it. off out into space as <laughs> yes. as as. Captain Kirk and Khan come kind of in through the, in through the portal. Yeah, and we were all, we were all cheering. It was just the, 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 fun, the what's even funnier to me about that was, your scene was before you see Lem Leonard Nimoy on this on the screen for the right. first time, so and so uh, everyone's cheering when they see you, and like everyone else in the theater is like, what the hell's going on? <laughs> Who is this guy? Funny, funny flip side of that story. I was actually shooting something that day. I'm on another. I'm on a couple other shows, fortunately, and. Um, so I was shooting something that day, and I remember I was I was getting a cup of coffee or something, or doing changing wardrobe or something. I remember if, if a phone could actually physically explode, it would have exploded <laughs> because it was like it was like the the the, the operating system of my iPhone couldn't handle it because I between <laughs> Facebook, texts, people calling, and it was all Red Five people. <laughs> it was like Nishi Red Five. It was like Matt Red Five. It was like you know Frank. Ted, it was everybody from Red Five. Dude. You're 
you're on the screen. We're going crazy. <laughs> People are in the theater looking at us like we're nuts. Everybody's like, there's Typhon. <laughs> there, there he is. <laughs> So there you go, yeah. <laughs> and then, so then later on, the, the funnier part to me of that is later on, Leonard Nimoy pops on the screen, and the rest of the Star Trek fans like tried to start a, like a, a like clapping and then start tried to start a cheer, and uh, it it didn't go anywhere. <laughs> so you got a bigger, uh, you got a standing ovation, a bigger uh, cheer than Typhon Leonard got Nimoy. <laughs> more, Typhon got more props than Spock. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Yep. Huh? More props All right. than Spock. More props than Spock. <laughs> Oh, man, that was great times. But, um, yeah, I mean, hopefully, you know, we'll, we'll get to go around and uh, do some more things with the, with the changes that are coming online, but we'll, we'll see. Uh, right now, we don't have any plans to really hit any trade shows in the capacity that we used to. We went hard. Yeah. Uh, well, it was, you know, that was, that, was, that was the time to do it. I mean, the game, this was, you know, in the beta test, and, and people were just starting to, you know, it's kind of the pre-roll, so to speak, of, yeah. of getting, getting people ready for the game. And, uh, you know, I think we did a great job. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Excellent yeah, I think, I think we had a lot of fun at all the conventions. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I know the, the fans had a lot of fun at all the conventions. Yeah, we got a, and a, that, that was back when we used to have the, uh, you know, that, that was when people were buying fan packs before the game was even launched. Oh, yeah, yeah, the founders packs. Yeah. Oh, man. Should I give one away? No. <laughs> like, uh, that would have been a great lead. You said something. Uh, <laughs> was, Typhon the, was, was somebody asking me something? Was Typhon the one? Uh, was Typhon the guy who shouts cover? Yeah. That's. From, from, the, from yes. the live trailer. He doesn't get that Ares 5 5. He gets kidnapped. <laughs> yes, Typhon is the, the one from the cutscene that gets kidnapped. <clears throat> yeah. Um, we actually, uh, the media team just redid, uh, and we talked about this last week, but we re redid the whole opening scene to the game, the whole opening sequence. And uh, Typhon's got a little bit more of a badass story to him in that one, where it's like the, um, the Accords fighting the Chosen and, and Sir Tao and the Chosen General Sir Khan is like, you know, he's taking names and Typhon comes in there with his battle frame and just kicks his ass. And just Bet your ass. <laughs> <laughs> when, of course. Of course. Yes. And, and Spock's yes. next. <laughs> oh. Oh. Too <laughs> soon. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Spock is next. <laughs> Send Frank so I can gripe about the Shimmer. Yes, we know about the Shimmer Core audio. Mm. <laughs> Somebody says we need more Typhon. You darn right you do. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but yes, uh, yeah, Typhon comes in there, kicks kicks his ass right out of Sir Tao. So I think, you know, uh, like I said, I, I I think that Typhon and Morningstar probably still have a lot to play. Mm -hmm. Although in the earlier parts of the story, when you actually play, they're not there yet. You haven't met them yet. So. Right. Um, but, but, you, but you will. You will. They will be coming for you. <laughs> it will be good. <laughs> um... He's Firefall's Django Fett. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, uh, what else have you been up to? I think that's how this works, right? You come on the show, we can do. We can talk a little bit about. Yeah, what man, whatever. Doing. Yeah, uh, I'm on. A, uh, there's a there's a new show, and I'm there's probably some overlap of people who watch like Disney. The uh, there's a new show called KC Undercover, yeah. with Zendaya. Who's the really pretty gal who was on another show for them? I can't, I, I can't remember which one it was, but but she plays a spy and she is Casey undercover in this, and she's a spy, and she is a uh, a young spy in what's called the organization, <laughs> and then you know clever kid stuff, and then there uh, the the dark side or the competitive spy agency is called the other side, and I'm the main bad guy who kind of runs the other side. Nice. So you know I'm typecast as a big meathead. Which <laughs> you have a Russian accent. No, 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 just, just, just bad Kentucky English. Okay. <laughs> bad Kentucky English. We don't really speak English in Kentucky. We speak Kentucky English. Mm. Kind of like Spanglish. Okay. Kent English. Uh, so yeah, so I'm, I'm working on that, and I'm also uh, I, I'm on a show called uh, The First Family, That's which right. is uh, yep, which is a. Uh, it's a multi-camera sitcom about the second African-American president, mm -hmm. and I play Secret Service agent Ross Hardison, and my um, there's there's two of us, and we're both Secret Service agents, and we're like the Keystone Cops. We're just <laughs> we're we're total buffoons, which is perfect. So we do stuff like you know we make the president try to get him to work out, and then we hurt him, and 
<laughs> so we, or we try to do things like we, we get him a scooter because he hurt his foot, which we stepped on, and then, you know, the scooter goes backwards when it's supposed to go forward because we because manu- we put it together wrong and he you know he goes down the White House steps and you lands end up on the hurting lawn. him more than protecting him. Right. We end up just we're just total idiots, which is perfect. Perfect for me. <laughs> Kent English confirmed by extra soda. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. let, let's do yeah, it's, apparently his eleven year old watches the show that you're on. <laughs> oh good. Uh KC undercover or is uh, I think or, it's the KC under I think yeah no, probably, the, probably, it would probably be uh, Oh, no, no, the, the no, other it'd probably one. be the first family. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. because my episodes on KC Undercover, I th- that's right. You were saying they're yeah, not out have, yet. they haven't started. We, we've we've shot. I've, I think I shot three, and they start airing probably within the next couple months, um, and then we're going to start a new season. Hopefully, I'll be back for a few more. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> the uh, trying to catch up on chat here, see what's going on. Um, Personal, oh, also a person of interest on or blacklist. Totally can get behind that. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, Bithin Terry has said three most important things: more diversified progression, crafting, and thumping overall in arena. I think those are, uh, yeah, some of the bigger things that they want to see change with the game. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm catching up with chat, and it's just all like we're all over the place here. We didn't have a full structure. But um, <laughs> still waiting for Gravity Falls to come back. Yeah, that's awesome, man. I'm glad you're. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you you, had, you took the time to come in. Uh, no, chat. It's been dude, a I love it. I love it. I, there's a the, Firefall's got a soft spot in my heart, and I love the Typhon <laughs> suit. And all the kidding thing. aside, I love you guys. I'll come anytime you guys want to bring me back and that's plot awesome. me in here. And I'm I'm happy to do it. Happy to be a part of the team. That's awesome. We were thinking about getting him in the suit, but uh, then we're like, eh, then we got to take it down. And it does take a long time to put it on. Does it take like 30 to... minutes to put on? How much? Is, how long does it take? Uh, you know, the first time we did it, it took like an hour. Oh, yeah, the first time. Yeah. And, but yeah. then by the end, I mean, mm-hmm. I could, you know, after you do it a hundred times, I could kind of run and jump into it. <laughs> it, would, it, would, it would, you know, it would just kind of plop on you. I could sleep Like in. Iron Man, just... Yeah, just kind of, <laughs> right, I go, go like this, and it kind of just jumps yeah. on. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I mean, by, by the end, I, I could probably, you know, it, I could probably do it. If I was really in a hurry, which sometimes was the case, mm-hmm. I could probably get into it in about 10, mm-hmm. about 10 minutes. Mm-hmm. Not too Damn. bad. Yeah. System locked. Yes. The other thing was, uh, the other hard thing is hydration, and I noticed that uh, when wearing that suit, which, by the way, one of the shoes is broken inside that one, so ah. I couldn't, that's part of the reason why I wouldn't walk around in it that much, because... Yeah. I don't want to mess up your foot or the suit, mm-hmm. but um, trying to hydrate. Because I remember that um, when I was in that picture that they showed earlier wearing the suit, they gave me a bottle of water here, you know, and it's like, okay, cool. So I have the bottle of water, can't get it to my mouth. Oh, you can't right. <laughs> so I remember, and then I and then I thought back to like when you used, you used to have handlers. You had uh, Mike and Noreen. Yep. And they used to they used to have it in the big me. cup. Yeah, they'd be a drink and, and, and give me just liquids. like hold up the cup for you and you'd like drink drink from the straw. <laughs> you're, you're like a you're just I was like a big baby. Just kinda <laughs> just kinda stuck in this outfit. Yeah, because you couldn't you couldn't reach your mouth with anything. Nope. That's hard moods. It, it was it was definitely or if you had to blow your nose. Bonding or, moment. You guys bonded crazy. over it, I'm sure. Yeah. Probably you guys closer together. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing quite like Feeding another grown man. Yeah. Yes. No. <laughs> well, yeah, entertainment in general, but if, you know, if you're in a suit like that and you're, and you're worried about people, like, touching you or being, you're, you're in the wrong game. <laughs> because when, you, when, you're, when you're getting in that thing, taking it off or, or wearing it, you know, you're, you're at the whim of people having their hands in your pants the whole day. <laughs> Which is pretty much, you know, entertainment in a nutshell is, you know, if, if, if you're worried about people, you know, having their hands in your pants, then... But funny, funny hands in your pants story. This goes, this goes back to Arena. My um, uh, one of the audio guys on Arena was Noah Mathers, who is a Jerry Mathers son. Leave It to Beaver's son wow. was my audio guy wow. on Arena, which is kind of just a cool sideline. But I remember, uh, I don't wear underpants, which I really <laughs> do not usually wear underwear. So, so <laughs> there's a reason I'm saying that. I'm so like, like, All right. Noah would all, every time we'd come in and shoot some shows, he'd be like, "Dude, you're killing me." I, he's, I'm like, what? He's like, you're not wearing underwear. I said, I don't wear underwear. I don't own underwear, much less wear it. So he comes in one day and he says, oh, hey, Hawk, 
I just, I just saw the IOU from God. I was like, what? He said, no, I just saw the IOU from God. I'm like, what are you talking about? He said, in your pants. There's an IOU from God that says, I owe you one penis. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Like so Noah Mathers, I know you're watching. <laughs> yeah, I remember, sure he is. I'm and I'm curious. gonna get you. No, good dude, good, good, good quality audio guy with a pretty warped, sick sense of humor. <laughs> Can I say penis? <laughs> you just did. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> I don't, I don't think the network's going to get mad. <laughs> Damn them. I'm on a Disney show. How, how, how crazy can I get? Well, I guess you're, you're on a Disney show. I was, I was on a Disney show until this goes out there. <laughs> I was on a Disney show until I said penis on, on Firefall. I... It's, it's the spiral. Like, Damn those people. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> You can say it on primetime. Oh, so apparently you can say it on primetime. Oh, you can say it. I'm, I'm pretty, I mean, I, obviously I've got a pretty pretty potty mouth when I'm not doing something. But uh, it, there's, there's, you know, you can say things like that. You can't, there's a lot of words you can't say, which I will not repeat here. So, <laughs> But, yeah, but I'm sure I've heard over drinks and stuff. <laughs> those, those, those parties afterwards, or dinners, as they well, were. Well, and, the, and, the, and what, what did... Uh, what was it? The nine, the nine words you can't say. That those, those have changed over time. Yeah. Now you can say the F word apparently, because I guess you too said the F word uh, a few years ago. Oh, remember? Yeah, yeah, that's true. Bono I said. Think, I, I think, think I think it was Bono said the F word, and then there was there was a suit brought, and then I, for some reason, they decided that it was okay for him to say that because it was not used as a verb, but it was used as an exclamatory. Ex again, I don't remember mm -hmm. the exact rationale for why Ooh, the, the network beautiful. didn't get uh, sanctioned but because it was a, 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 a an exuberant exclamation he mm. said this is a effing great oh. that they decided that it was not because it wasn't used in the context of a verb interesting how that's transforming isn't that crazy yeah hmm that is yeah i mean i, I yeah i don't know the ins and outs of network television it I'm is sure changing though which sure. is very different mm -hmm. uh people have said way worse things although uh, on Twitch, somebody will know. Or YouTube. Some, somebody who's typing here. Go Google Bono saying the f word and why he wasn't in trouble. <laughs> oh, someone's someone it seems to be freaking out about the uh, <laughs> the censorship. I was looking at. That. I was like, what? <laughs> is the f word Frank? <laughs> I love it. Is. Yes. <laughs> this nice. is franking great. <laughs> great. Excellent. Um, I don't know uh, if we have it loaded. Uh, Marjorie, do you know if we have fan art loaded? We do? Oh, cool. So, Typhon, we, uh, we have this tradition on the show where we... Uh, Look at some fan art that was created, and we get to vote on the fan art. Sure, let's vote do on it. a winner. So we can go into uh, Typhon's favorite segment. Typhon's favorite segment, which is "Do You Even Art, Bro?" Do you even art, bro? Noxon, I wish I could tell you about an update coming to PTS next week, but there is not an update to PTS next week. I'm sorry. <laughs> Does Typhon art? I'd like to see your drawings. Here's our first entry. I've got no creative talent whatsoever. i got a big mouth and a big butt. <laughs> Those are my two. <laughs> you, can, you can say butt. It's just very random. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, all, that's, that's all I got. That's, 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 my, that's, that's, that's my only talent. Big mouth, big butt. <laughs> <laughs> um, so who's this first entry from? Foonie, I believe. That's there you go. Foonie. Look, Bono used the vulgarity as an adjective to emphasize use of specific words. See? <laughs> Told you I wasn't crazy. Mm. Thank you. That's sounded right. That's sounded right. I wasn't questioning it. <laughs> so we have, uh, that's, yeah, that's a, this is a, the Arsenal by Foony, The Chibi Arsenal. Typhon and page 15 confirmed. Great. <laughs> Um, very well, very well done. The the, the Funi Chibi. 
<laughs> Next up, we have. <laughs> so now, should I vote on this? Am I? Am no, I... no, we have to show all three of them. Mm -hmm. Oh, gotcha. And then we pick the. This is a redo of Ratchet's <laughs> Ratchet sign that says uh, instead of Ratchet, it says Arky. Arky is one of our add-on creators in the community. Uh, we were gonna do a spotlight. We'll do a spotlight for Arky's add-on next week. Mm -hmm. And last but not least, this is a. a Dragonfly by Extra Soda. Purple. Oh, I know who Mika's voting for. <laughs> Everyone's voting for Arky. I'm going to vote for someone else then, so that way you don't know what I'm voting for. <laughs> Everyone's just talking about Arky. So those are our three. You get to pick which one's your favorite one. <laughs> Should I go? Should you want me to decide? I think number three looks like it took the most time and work and artistic talent. The other two looked like they're very good, very wonderful. I don't, you know, I'm, believe me, I couldn't do any of this. But, <laughs> but number three looks like it comes from someone who had the most creative ability. Okay. I'm going to pick number three because reasons. Because purple. Because purple. It is because purple. Purple is my favorite color. <laughs> That's more lavender. Well, I guess it is purple. Lavender. <laughs> right? Can, can, it's can, of can the you, purple can you say spectrum. Lavender? Can you say lavender on network television? <laughs> I, I don't know if we've evolved that far yet. It's too late. And uh, last but not least, or I'll, I'll, I guess I'll vote. Uh, I'll vote for Arky. I'll give one to Arky. <laughs> but uh, soda, everything, it goes to soda again. Um which is awesome. By the way, guys, next week, I know everyone's, it seems like, like I said, uh, Chas to be a little upset at me because we didn't go deep into Firefall stuff. There aren't that many major updates that I can share as I posted on the forums earlier this week. Although next week, we are going to have uh, Anthony Orton, or um, Red Anthony, that posted on the forums, our lead open world designer, is going to be joining us on the show. We got him scheduled, so... We'll be prompting you guys for writing questions on Tuesday. <clears throat> oh, jeez. Oh, chat. <laughs> I was like, I don't really see it. Oh, now it's okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, oh, chat. Not you, Twitch, the other ones. Hmm. Twitch is good test. So mean. <laughs> we have the caption this too, right? We do have the caption this. So we typically, um, yeah, we're going to go a little short today because, again, like I said, we don't have any major updates, but um, we'll, we'll keep in the show. So we, we still do have the caption this. Mm -hmm. And uh, who do we, what was it this week? Cream. The picture was cream. That's Jay. That's, that's that right over there. Right over there. <laughs> Knife Lady OS, boot up. I, oh, you know, right. I can do a shutdown sound like poo, but I don't exactly know what boot up sounds like sometimes. Is, poo? Is that good? <laughs> you, oh, I love this caption. None of you have your comms in. <laughs> nope. None All of right. us have our comms in, but we can hear you. No one likes to hear me except for our <laughs> community. You apparently. just have to speak louder. So first one up, the real arrow. The real arrow. The, you know what? This is acceptable. Busted. He is the real arrow. Yeah. The best part, I have it going across all three monitors. Not telling you what it is, though. <laughs> Shots fired. <laughs> <laughs> My evil plan has worked. Just do the poker face. <laughs> Least evil guy now. <laughs> Composer programs, check. Pez's IRC, <laughs> check. Pony stream, squint eyes. Buffering. <laughs> Murder. Murder in the making. In the makings. <laughs> That's uh <laughs> five more minutes and the pizza's free. <laughs> That's pretty good. Mmm, the soothing sound of frame versus frame combat. Yes. Pez does this without our permission. <laughs> that was the last one. 100% true. I do post those pictures without anyone's permission. 
pew. Enabler over there. There he is. There's the enabler. <laughs> the enabler in the back. <laughs> um, you're right. I am John Galt. He's completely right. We do have uh, the what we do is we let the community uh, coordinate their own events and then we sponsor them with prizes. So it's really cool. One of the the event this weekend is uh, called Save the Rabbit. Mm -hmm. So it's these two five uh, five man teams get together. One of them holds a ball and he's the rabbit. And the objective is your team has to kill uh, their rabbit before their team kills your rabbit. Oh wow! So um, that's going to be going on this weekend. He's going to stream it on Twitch TV uh, <laughs> on on his Twitch. I think it's uh, Twitch TV slash I am John Galt. Um, but yeah, he's he's going to um, be streaming that. So that that's that's a PvP style event. A lot of broken things could happen because there are um, there are uh, a lot of abilities and combinations that can be uh, like kind of game breaking mm -hmm. in a sense. Like they're they're very powerful combinations, I would say. And um, so it'd be interesting to see how that turns out. Although I think they banned some of that stuff. Um, but yeah, that's that's one of the events. Previously, we had like an amazing race style thing where mm -hmm. there were squads running around doing uh, scavenger hunts. Uh, Destruction derbies with the big trucks, <laughs> all kinds of stuff. It's going to be chaos. It is going to be chaos. Um, we're, we're we're planning another event, um, not for not next weekend, but the one after, where um, you get in these big trucks, and then you your the goal is like you have like a team of three, and it's kind of like a team stuff where they're like driving around, kind of like blow up the other truck. <laughs> sure. So that should be pretty cool. Kuro, like the dreaded OP bombs away. Please nerf. Kuro, Kuro, Kuro. <laughs> yep. It's it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, and if you guys have ideas for events, go ahead and post them up on the events subform, and uh, we'll have a look at it, and we'll determine sponsorship. Now, just because you have an idea doesn't mean we're going to guarantee sponsorship. We do have to make sure <coughs> that it's the rules are very you know it's it's not easily gameable it's it's very clear rules and fair rules and uh yeah we you know we'll we'll uh pump it up on our social media we'll make sure you know we'll help you get signups june 6 is d-day pez punting so that's another thing um a, one group of players once so, so what i'll do is like while i'm at work i'll jump in the game and i'll play a little bit and uh, typically I get drawn away by a uh, discussion because uh, Mika and Brad and I have to talk about something or something else goes on, a meeting pops up. So I just walk away. I just leave my character sitting there. So what these little pastors <laughs> like to do is um, they get on their, they'll, they'll, uh, they'll put a glider pad down, they'll get on their, their bike and push me into the glider pad and I'll just go sailing off <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'll eventually land somewhere sometimes it's in the middle of the ocean so I just die but they, they kind of just like kind of push me around and then they chase me and then they punt me to like new places <laughs> and then I come back I'm like why am I here I don't know how I got here <laughs> so, <laughs> next. so uh, they call it Pez punting mm -hmm. <laughs> and they they want to turn it they want to turn that into an event. I'm like I don't know how this is gonna work out. <laughs> Pez punt, <laughs> yes. love it. <laughs> um, so yeah, they're 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 trying to turn that into an event. I'm I'm a little averse, but it's oh come on, <laughs> <laughs> that sounds fun. It can be done, yes. <laughs> All right. He just doesn't want to... oh, Okay, there we go. There we go. <laughs> All right. You guys are lucky. It's official now. You guys are lucky. Typing's here. <laughs> Twist my arm. They only they only punch tattoo. you because they love you. <laughs> That's true. There's a there's a great T-shirt. <laughs> Nerd fight. I vote for Pez punting event. Thanks, dude. <laughs> 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 yep. Everyone says everyone says says Typhon said so. That's yes. Right. Fine. We'll do it. <laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> oh my God! All right. So we'll make sure we do that. Mika will officiate. Definitely. Sure. Definitely. Pez ball. Oh my goodness. Punky wants to talk to Typhon. We don't have TeamSpeak set up, unfortunately. 
<laughs> Punky, by the way, Punky Plays is one of your biggest fans. Like, ever since you were Typhon, she's just been like, oh my god, Lee! The way, I think we, um, we might have had you take a picture for her. Great. Uh, and Fine. everything. I love it. Thank so, you. Um, Punky is, she's been, uh, she's been following the company for a long time. Almost since, definitely since closed beta. I don't, I don't know if it's from the beginning. Uh, also ran Brandonons.com, one of our, uh, bigger fan sites. Um, so yeah, she's been a big fan. She's a huge fan of you. So she's well, Punky, like, I'm a huge fan of you. <laughs> um, Yay, Punky. She did. She named her cat Typhon because of you. I love it. I am so honored. That's so cool. You're going to make me cry. <laughs> That's true. So, sorry, Punky. We didn't, I, I didn't uh, expect to have TeamSpeak because I didn't want to do uh, Collins because <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how much Lee can answer for everybody. <laughs> what about the, uh, the Shimmer Core audio? I don't know. Uh, yeah, we, we know that's a problem. I don't know if Lee's going to help us out with that. Um, who, who are we talking about on the forum? Oh, Gortok. Yeah, okay, so Gortok is one of our designers on the system side. Uh, Bith and Terry is asking about Gortok to come on and talk to the forums about crafting. Mm -hmm. Crafting changes, I think, are, you know, they're, they're still taking a while. And that's, I think that's largely because of uh, UI resources. Uh, our UI team is pretty small, and they, they work their tails off. But just about every feature in the game needs UI. So until we can actually get UI in the game and actually start iterating and playing with it, it's hard to like, go out there and talk about it. Mm -hmm. um, I'll talk to him, see what, see what he thinks. You know? But uh, yeah, that's a request from the... Um... <laughs> Can you verify that? Some visual proof. Just like post a picture like he's working. Leave him alone. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he's still with us. I mean, uh, he just hasn't been, hasn't had a chance to talk about crafting. Stop picking on us. <laughs> Nerd. So Nerdfight is um, uh, one of our UI designers. He does the, uh, the look and feel kind of thing. Um, he's sitting there watching. Stop picking. I'm not, I'm not picking on you guys. I know you guys work really hard and <laughs> we're scruffy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, programmer asked, remember that one time when we were shooting that video when we were in a circle around you chanting the bug yeah. killing video? Yep, I do remember that. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that, was, that was a good one, too. I don't know if we... Uh... No, I, I didn't cut that into the video. That's right. I was, I was thinking it, but I, that cut we showed at the beginning of the show, I, I did that in literally like 15 minutes. <laughs> um, uh, so, yeah. We had, we had you come in for yep, that the bug tone video. Yep. <laughs> Put you in the suit. Um, yeah, it's great times. Uh, yes, Benton Terry, he is alive. You hear my word, mm -hmm. I, will, I will take a picture of him. I'll be like this, here he is. <laughs> or we'll, we'll get him to post one or the other. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, I think that's a... That's about the show. I mean, like I said, next week, guys, um, and we'll we'll post this early on. Um, probably Tuesday, we'll post a we'll post a uh, a thread trying to get your questions for uh, Anthony, Red Anthony, uh, for the show because he should be on the show next week. I think that yes. was the schedule. We Mika was nice enough. Thank you, Mika. To do my job. <laughs> Mika, Mika is working to improve the show, and we have guests scheduled through the middle of July. Usually. I don't schedule a guest until like Thursday night, but Mika <laughs> <laughs> has. Let's not cause unnecessary stress on ourselves. Okay, let's... Mika has <laughs> gone ahead and gotten us guests for through mid July, and we'll even go beyond. And among those guests are, you know, a repeat of Cloud Chaser, a mm -hmm. repeat of Cowboy. Um, I do want to like we might have to do like a little shifting because I do want to have Chris on the show. Um, so, you know, introduce you guys to Chris a little more uh, visually than just on the forums. Um, the Muffin Man is actually not on that list. We should, we, I need to talk to him. I don't, that would uh, be yeah. uh, Kevin Lee. Mm -hmm. I do we need to talk him. to him because that's something we need to get out, um, get out there again is, mm -hmm. uh, you know, see where he's at with PvP. But 
you know, we got to see where he's comfortable, if he's comfortable talking about that just yet. Um, that's a good question. Where is Muffin Man? So, where is the cheese? Ah, Tony. Uh, they're doing something else right now. I had lunch with him this weekend. Mm -hmm. Tony Ray. You, you got to work with Tony? Yeah, 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 Tony. yeah that's sure, right. You yeah. got to work with Tony. Yeah. Firefall Fest and some other trade yeah. shows. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're doing some other things. I had lunch with him this weekend. He's, he's doing pretty good. Tell him, so, tell, him, tell him Typhon Hawk Lee said, hey. I will. Yeah. Where is the merch store? Oof. <laughs> Oof. I want it. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Laura Post would be great. You know what? That actually would be a shit. Laura Post is, um, I believe she did Arrow, the voice of Arrow in the game. So um, a, lot of, uh, a lot of people interested in uh, a lot of the behind the scenes of the voice acting in the game. So sure. That's I something think, I'd have yeah, to talk I, to. Yeah, I, I did a lot of the type and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. That's something we'd have to talk to Scotty B and Boone about. Sure. So uh, see about getting them on. I wanted more. So um, yeah, um, that's the show, really, guys. Thanks for coming and checking out. Uh, check it out, Lee. Thank you. So Bye, everyone. Much. Good to be back. Thank you so much. I'll be much around. For I'm in. always. I'm always around. <laughs> <laughs> always around. And uh, we'll make sure uh, we'll see you next week. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Bye. This is a core control. We are prepped for space fold. Initiate on Admiral's mark. Initiating space fold on Admiral Nostromo's mark. Three, two, one. Mark light. This is a core control. Did you copy? Mark light. Are you there? Mark light. Mark light. Do you copy? This is Nostromo. The jump failed. We're still in Earth orbit, but losing altitude rapidly. Stand by, Arclight. We're scrambling rescue shuttles now. Just hold There's tight. There's no time. Dr. Bathsheba reports we've lost all power to the orbital drive. I need you to project the Arclight's impact site. Begin ground evacuations and scramble disaster teams. I can confirm that, Accord Control. Loss of orbit is irreversible. I'm ejecting the star chamber. It is critical that you recover it immediately. Understood. Admiral, initial projections indicate a South Atlantic crash zone. Control, divert the third fleet to the South Atlantic. Atlantic. Yes, sir. Bathsheba, can we re-trigger the arc drives? No, there's some kind of external interference that's locking them up. I can try diverting power from weapons to the orbital thrusters. It'll give us a little control. Do it. Maybe we can ditch in the Atlantic. Sir, calculations are firming up. Looks to be... Fortaleza, Brazil. Alerting authorities there. The casualties in the blast zone look to be close to 100%. What? That can't be... Orestes, is Amelia still living? Bathsheba, get me those thrusters, now! We've got a five-second burn left in maximum power. That should get us clear of Fortaleza. Negative, Mark Light. If you ignite that burn, Sin is projecting a 95% chance you hit Rio. Ready the burn. Give me manual control. Sir, if you do that, 1.2 million people will die. I'm well aware of that. Now give me control. Orestes, you have full control. Initiating burn in five, Mark Light. four, four, three... three. 